welcome to another video here on my channel. In this video, I am sharing a Warbinder progress video and I am a part of a Warbinder Facebook group and I was inspired to create a cheaper alternative to a Warbinder for those people that do not have a lot of money but still want to have a functional Warbinder. And a Warbinder, from what I've seen and from what I've created for myself, is a personal reflection from scriptures to sermons to people that you're praying for, whether it's family, friends, what have you. That's what a Warbinder is and it's separated by sections. So the Warbinder, that I use, it's not really a war binder, it's a faith planner. It's this one from Horatio Printing. I do have videos on this, so be sure to check that out. I'll have them linked below, but for a dollar, I thought that I would share with you guys the concept that I came up with, so let's get started. So getting into this war binder, the basics of what I used were the photo album from Dollar Tree along with scrapbook paper. And I also pulled in some journaling cards here and some other little die cuts that I had which I created some flips with some basic flips a lot of what I did is very very basic it's nothing fancy to it but hopefully going through you guys will get the concept so opening it up I have this photo overlay here I got this in a paper pad it was a smaller paper pad from Michaels so I just put that in this cover then this was actually a notepad that I had received. I wasn't using it, so I just took the cover. I love anything that's floral and striped, so you'll see that quite a bit through here. A lot of the same prints. Then this first section is the reference section. Now I didn't get into tabs yet. I'll do that in my next video, but this is the reference section. So there's Old Testament and New Testament. So here's how it turned out. I am no artist, but I will be coloring this in and writing in all of the books. And these labels here are actually um, binder labels from Dollar Tree. They come on a sheet like this and you have the sheet to slide it in on this side. Now these are very thin and they peel up just fine from this page. So if you would like to move, around, move it around, there's no issue there. Then coming in here, this is one of the flips that I made and this one I'm going to be fixing but I'm going to put a label here but this is going to be for tithing if you want to put your tithes inside of here and then I'm going to have a scripture here for that and then there's space on the back for personal reflection. Then this is just a divider for the next section. Here's prayer requests, a scripture for prayer and then you have space here to write your own. So this is actually a card from Target. Then when you flip it open, there's space here, space here, and then you can write something here on the back if you choose. Then this is another one. These are just prayers, well, scriptures for different things. So there's scripture for loneliness, scripture to overcome failure, scripture for anxiety. Then one of my favorite scriptures, which is Hebrews 10, ch chapter 10, verses 35 to 36. And then there's space for you to fill in your own here. So this is a notebook cover that I got from Staples that I just taped to this piece of scrapbook paper here. And I had another piece. So I just did some layering. And then there's space on the back there for you to write in whatever it is that you would like. Now, I will say that when layering, especially if the paper is a little bit thicker, be careful when putting it in and out of here because you don't want it to snag. Now, if you have it from the top, I doubt you'll run into that issue. Now, I am going to go back and fill in two more scriptures here. Um, and all I did for these was I used, the, here's the scrap of paper. This is actually a sticky note. Then I used washi tape and I took a label that I had from Dollar Tree and I just wrote the scripture, what it's for, and then the scripture itself. So that is that and I did that for all of those. Now the next section is going to be devotional. I do have a devotional that I use and going back really quickly, these scriptures here, I will have all of the links on my blog as usual, but this reference that I have is from Horatio Printing and Horatio Printing is actually what I use as my faith planner. And I do have a setup and an update video on this, which I'll have linked below for you to check out. So that's where I got that from, but I'm also going to be pulling some other ones that I have from my Bible, and this is the Bible that I use. It's the Everyday Bible. 
it's one of the Bibles that I use and this is the new century version I also have another one that is the new international version so that is that um, this is just another sticker here layered on top of scrapbook paper I do have a devotional and with this piece of scrapbook paper there's space to write in the scripture and the topic for that devotional and this is where I decided to make those little flips for you to write in the scripture and then you can write your own personal reflection. So there's just quite a bit of those. So here's one that's actually double sided. And this is so basic. This is literally just taped around a piece of scrapbook paper. So nothing fancy. And I didn't want it to be anything fancy because I wanted it to be easy for anyone to complete. And if you wanted to take this into a Sunday school kind of setting, it'll be easy for students to do that as well. So this one's a little bit different. It flips open, but then it has this top flip here, which you can flip here, flip in the back, and then there's space to write on the back of that as well. So that's just another option there. Then I have a few more. This one, I like it because it's navy. It's really simple. I think I'm going to put a label here just for some extra writing space. You can write here. I might put something else here just so this space can be utilized. And this is also a part of that notebook cover. That was actually the back. And I had it from that same set. So repurpose what you have. So that's going back in here. And then this one is another one of those flips with the flip at the top. So that is that. If you are a crafter like myself, you'll probably have a lot of stuff laying around. But again, if you're not a crafter and you wanna do something like this, you can use magazine clippings and notebook paper. It doesn't really matter. Then this one is actually using scrapbook paper and a greeting card. These greeting, This greeting card here was from Target. And then it's another one of those flips here. And this one I really like because of the foil. So if you wanted to write a scripture, I am going to put a um, sticker here and then write the scripture on that side. So that's something if you have foil pieces and you're not sure what to do with them. They do help jazz up the page, but not necessarily functional enough to write on them. So putting a sticker here, but still leaving that design is easy enough to do. Then this one is really basic. Just a piece of, this is another card actually that I layered on top of scrapbook paper, plenty of writing space. And again, for darker pieces like this, I'll just go and layer another piece just so you can write. So that's the devotional section. This, then that is basically where I've stopped with going forward. That is the progress that I've made. So I have to go back and do the Old Testament and New Testament. I will have pictures on my blog of the progress um, so you guys can check that out. Now, I do have scrapbook paper pre-cut already. And a lot of the scrapbook paper was from a Valentine sticker book that I got on clearance from Hobby Lobby. It was like a dollar or something like that. So then this one here I just thought would be nice to use as a divider. Then there's this one. And then some more pieces. And then you get into the journaling cards here and there's plenty of space to write on these so I might turn the, these into flips or something like that but I don't know what I want the next section to be so that is that so that is it for this war binder progress video using this one dollar photo album from Dollar Tree let me know what you guys think even though some people may not find this as functional it's a cheaper alternative and it's really it you know helps you get in touch with your creative side and you the sky is really the limit with what you want to add to this and whatnot and also using the sticky notes you can peel them up just as easy and you can put a scripture underneath you can write underneath this if you choose to so there's space for you to continue and add things, another scripture or two when it relates to prayer or whatever the topic is that you're using. So I will have links to resources that I get my information from to fill this war binder on the blog. Also, I have this one and another one that I'm going to be creating a war binder 
for and that'll be in the next video and then I also have this one which is a two ring photo album that I found and I thought this would be another alternative because you can flip through now these are those pages where you can slip things in but I thought these would be great for dividers and if you want to save anything more permanent that that's an option as well so war binder coming with this one and then last but not least I thought it would be cool to use a war binder well to create a war binder using a basic spiral notebook for those people that do not have access or just want something simple plain Jane jazzed up just a little bit you can just use a spiral notebook so I'll be having one coming with this one so this is my little war binder series here that I'm going to be having and these videos will come as I continue to update these but I wanted to show you guys the concept that I had in mind and hopefully you guys will let me know your suggestions. Alright guys so that is it for this video. Again be sure to check out the blog chaoticcritic.com which I will have linked below which will have resources to not only items that I use that you can get in store but also a list of all of the resources that I use for the content that is inside. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram at Chaotic Critic. If you have any suggestions going forward on what I could add to this, let me know in the comment section and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!